maybe there will be ice operations in Metro Atlanta. Maybe they won't. But when you hear your city on the name of, you know, on the list of those names, what do you think? It's uh, it's baffling. I, I I don't understand what this is about. We've not asked for the federal government's assistance. Um, it, the, uh, this notion that it's helping mayors address crime really is ridiculous. I've not talked to a single mayor in this nation who said they want these raids to happen. And it is, in my opinion, a political distraction. And it's creating this level of anxiety and chaos that is really dumbfounding when you look at the humanitarian crisis that we're already seeing with children. And the last time we went through this, my eight-year-old was watching some news coverage and looked at me and said, Mom, was I born in America? And when I reassured him that he was, he then asked, was his brother born in America? Because he's concerned that his family will be separated. And so I think that for all of us, um, we, we really need to look inward as what if, what if this were our family? And really, they are our families. They are part of our community. And so we're just uh, trying to get out as much information as we can to people to re remind people that they are entitled to due process. You don't have to open the door. Please make sure that you have some type of contingency plan in place for children if you are separated and to the extent that you can record what's happening. You know, you, I know you know enough about policing to know that if you're going to run an operation that it's sort of counterintuitive to tell folks you're coming. How do I mean, can you even rationalize that? Well, what I do know is that um, responsible law enforcement coordinates with other law enforcement to at least notify them that something's happening. We are learning very important information via Twitter. And uh, the thought that in 2019 that that is the way that we have to operate um, with the President of the United States, you know, I think really speaks to the sad state of, of where we are right now. And I don't know that there's any concern about what this impact really will have on local communities or local law enforcement agencies. Now, the president said today the focus would be on those that received a final order uh, that were here illegally uh, and, uh, and criminals. What is your stance on that? If someone were here under those circumstances, do you agree with that? Well, we know that's not true because they've also said that there may be collateral deportations, meaning that if there's someone else around uh, with a deportation order that they may also be picked up. They're also targeting kids who may have um, reached a certain age. And so you don't know what to believe and what's true and what's not true. And I, I really hope for the first time that this is just additional theatrics from the president and that he calls it off again. And what I know is this, is that when we look at how much it costs to detain folk, we're looking at $208 a day. It's easier, much less expensive to allow them to stay on the streets, five to $8 a day. And so I think that, um, I think it's unfortunate that this is how we're using, or how the federal government's using law enforcement. I think it's unnecessary. And if there's any desire to help cities, then I would think you would begin by reaching out to cities and asking if this is the help that we need. This is not the help that we need. 